EU's late night decision to offer the UK a Brexit delay until the 31st of October, Halloween, the Prime Minister returned to Westminster to brief MPs. Mrs May had originally asked for a new exit date of June the 30th. Other EU leaders had thought longer would be better, but she said after a lot of discussion, the October date was settled on as a compromise. But she stressed that the extension could be terminated earlier if the UK Parliament would only pass the withdrawal agreement. I know the whole country is intensely frustrated that this process to leave the European Union has not still been completed. I never wanted to seek this extension and I deeply regret that we have not yet been able to secure agreement in this House for a deal that would allow us to leave in a smooth and orderly way. I know too that this whole debate is putting members on all sides of the House under immense pressure and causing uncertainty. Blah, 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 blah. And we need to resolve. That was on Thursday, 11th of April. In law, we were going to leave at 11pm on the 12th of April. The EU have decided that we can have an extension. But we triggered our Article 50. So, we're breaking our law. The EU are breaking our law. We should be out. And we haven't heard a word, basically, about this. Nothing. And there's so much cover-up going on. There's so much mention of other things. It's just like, they really are just sweeping it under the carpet. That fire at Notre Dame. It's like one of these false flags, one of these things they can trigger any time they want. So then they're just talking about that. They are really just trying to sweep it under the carpet and expect that people aren't going to go on about it. Now, what we've had at the same time is a group called Extinction Rebellion who've been... Um, heavily protesting in London, closing bridges and things, gluing themselves to trains. And so they're getting, and they're getting attention. And it's a good cause, you know. The planet does need this. But why is it why has it happened now? They don't usually give these things attention. I mean, it's gradually been coming back. Gradually, you know, like seven years ago, it really should have been Extinction Rebellion then. Okay, so it hasn't happened. But it's been gradually happening. But how it's blown up now, and how the media are mentioning in it now when they're not mentioning the fact that we should have left Europe by law. So Parliament didn't vote to extend again from April the 12th. 
it's just yeah it's just they're bollocks and this fire in Notre Dame you know they they're barely interested in interested in the cause of it I mean you'd think they would be surely they would like to prevent such a thing occurring and should try and find out how the accident happened you know I don't really hear of that many situations where during um, restoration work um, they accidentally set the fucking thing on fire um, <clears throat> You know, all they've been going on about is, oh, let's have a competition to see who can redesign the spire. <laughs> Sorry. Take the piss. Now, so why, you know, obviously it's in Europe's interest to um, not have Brexit. So to do anything to take attention away from the fact that we've been robbed of our Brexit, of our of our referendum vote. We've just been robbed of it. Like daylight robbery. And, um, so, yeah, they're probably quite willing to set one of their buildings on fire. Seems excessive. But these people are, you know, Excessive type people. You know, if you're going to tell a lie, tell a great big whopper. It's far more likely it will be believed. So, you've got climate change activists out on the streets. The media are taking attention to it. Um, you know, that's kind of if you like, then somebody going out while they're doing that and somebody going out, oh, we should have had Brexit! <laughs> and everyone just sick of Brexit. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. Sod it, you know, apathy. Um, you know, whereas if that, if there were no demonstrations going on at all, um, then, then I'd expect there to be protesters um, and the Julian Assange thing as well you know that so I, you know I wasn't sure like I felt like this fire thing was a cover-up right something to take attention away from from either Brexit or it could be the Assange thing and they're claiming that he was wiping shit on the walls inside the Ecuadorian embassy. And that's apparently the reason why they kicked him out. Um, but I saw some, you know, I saw some of the footage. <laughs> and it just like, looked like they were waiting for the cameras to turn on. Okay, right, cameras are ready. Right, come on then. Let's do this. It's just such a sort of I know, sort of, you've got the scene with him dragging him out of the room and then they put him in the bus and he does some sort of sign and that's the photo, you know, he's got his beard and... It's, it's, it's just, I just think almost everything at the moment is is created. It's not real stuff that's just happening it's it's their little agenda their little agenda
But is there an enemy? It's all just a myth. So there's no enemy. Just individuals who think that another individual could possibly be an enemy. So they play as if the other one might be. And the other one notices this behaviour and thinks the same. So then they do become, become enemies just because they believe they're enemies. Someone said to me once, oh, I, you know, met your nemesis or something like that. And I was like, nemesis, what's that? And I didn't know what it was. So, like your enemy, you know. So to believe that you have one, why believe that you have one? Why, why create that reality? <coughs> People might say, oh, it's good to keep you on your toes and... Well, then it's not an enemy then, is it? Then it's a sparring partner. So yeah, that's probably it. There are no enemies. It's all just fiction. Believing the en it's an enemy. So, okay, so the BBC is not an enemy then. But it's made up of lots of individuals who perhaps believe that someone like me might fit into the character category of an enemy. That someone like me might fit into the category of an enemy. <laughs> Someone like me might fit in the category of an enemy. And someone like me might fit in the category of an enemy. Of a right back, seeking's back enemy. That a fella like me might fit in the category of an Santa's brother be. It's not my thing. Clearly, not my thing. So yeah, this video is bollocks. Why <laughs> as well turn it off?